Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the head command. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see on my desktop here, I've got two files, one text file and one JPEG. Now I'm going to use both of these files for the this tutorial a little bit later on. But first of all, I'm just going to start up the terminal using the keyboard shortcut command, which is holding Control, Alt and pressing T. And I'm just going to CD over to my desktop where those files are. Now, a little bit about the head command. Typically, the head command is used just to print out the first 10 lines of a file that you give it. So let's just have a look at what's in the example file using cat. You can see that it's the numbers 1 to 20 all on separate lines. So if I use the head command instead of cat and then type in the name of the file and hit enter, you can see that it prints out the first 10 lines of the file, which is 1 to 10. Now, head can actually do a little bit more than that with some options. So if we type in head and then dash n, which stands for number of lines, we can actually tell it how many lines we want to print out. So let's just say 3. And we have to give it a file to actually do this operation on. So same file again, example.txt, and hit enter. And you can see that it's printed out the first three lines. Now, we can basically print out as many or as few lines as we want. So let's just go for 15. There we go, 1 to 15. Now, there is another thing that we can do with the same command, just by editing it slightly and that is to put a minus sign in front of the number. Now what this does is it tells head that we actually want to print everything up to the last 15 lines. So in this case it'll print out lines 1 to 5 and it won't bother printing out the rest of the lines. So if we hit enter you can see it's printed out lines 1 to 5. Now if I do that again but I just tell it to not print out the last two lines, we should get an output that is 1 to 18. So if I hit enter now, you can see that that's what we've got. So by putting a minus sign in front of the number for this number option here, we're actually telling head to print out everything apart from the last two lines or whatever number you have here. There's also another option we could use for head, which is a byte option, which is dash C. And it works in exactly the same way as the dash N option, but rather than it printing out lines, it prints out bytes. Now, if I just cat out example.txt again, I'll just explain to you what a byte is. Now, this number one here is actually not a number one to the computer, but it is constructed from eight bits put together, which make a byte. So a byte is eight bits. And the new line character, which is actually at the end here, which is hidden from our view, but tells the computer to basically go to a new line and then print the next character, is a byte as well. So if I use the head command with the dash C bytes option, and then I tell it to print out the first two bytes of this file, and the file name is example.txt again, it's actually just going to print out this one here. So if I hit enter, you can see that's what it's done, and it's put the command prompt onto a new line. Now if I tell it to print out three, you'll see that it's printed out the numbers 1, the numbers 2, but the command prompt is on the same line as the 2. And that's because it hasn't actually printed or recognized this new line character, which is actually after the 2. So now, if I change this to 4 and hit enter, you can see that it's printed out 1 and 2 and the command prompt on a new line. So printing out bytes is different from printing out lines, basically. 
and you can also use the minus sign with the byte option so if I type in head dash C which is the byte option and then minus 4 it's going to print out everything apart from the last four bytes of the file so example dot text and hit enter and there we go you can see that it's actually printed out everything up to the last four bytes of the file now the byte option gets really useful when you're working with files that don't have plain text in them like this image file over here so if I use the head command and then I type dash C and then say I don't know 300 bytes and then the name of the file that I want to have a look at and hit enter you can see that it's actually printed out the first 300 bytes of that file and as you can see most of it is actually the header information for that so you can see the exif2 data which is actually part of the header of this image so there's another couple of options that you can use with the head command and let me just clear the screen so they are head dash v for verbose and then the name of the file so example.txt so you can see it's printed out the first 10 lines and the name of the document we can also use the quiet mode which basically tells head to print what we want it to do but without the header so there we go no header just the same as actually if we had have done it without the queue but for other files that have got more complex headers it works a bit differently so for more information on the head command you can just type in man head and have a look at the manual pages where you can see what we went over and a brief description of what everything is and also um, with these options that take numbers if we're using quite large numbers we don't actually have to type in the exact full number we can actually use some of these multiplier suffixes so you can see that KB is kilobytes K is kilo we've got megabytes mega gigabytes giga and there is a difference between them so this is 1024 and this is 1000 so a thousand to this is 1024 and a thousand here is actually just a thousand and you can even work with much larger numbers like Terra, Peta, Exa, Zeta and Yotta which are huge and yeah so these are the manual pages for the head command so that's how to use the head command and that has brought us to the end of this tutorial so I hope you found it useful if you did please don't forget to subscribe you can also follow Linux Leech over at facebook.com forward slash Linux Leech and on Twitter at Linux Leech and thanks for watching goodbye